Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you the basics of using Dreamweaver CS4's WYSIWYG tools, WYSIWYG is short for what you see is what you get, to easily create HTML forms. So let's launch our products page here, and if you've watched previous videos, seen why we have this here. So I'm just going to get rid of this because we don't need it. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go uh, make this a little bit bigger so we have some more real estate. And I'm going to go into the insert menu here. I have, this may be positioned differently depending on your setting here. So if you look up way up here in the top, you have all these different views that you can uh, easily jump to. So right now I have it set to designer. I can go to designer compact, see what Dreamweaver does. I can go to uh, coder plus. I can go to classic. This is a classic Dreamweaver screen. I'm kind of used to because I've been using Dreamweaver for such a long time. So I'm just going to use the classic setup. So you go up here, you select classic. So we have the same screen. And then we're going to go into the forms tab here. Bang. Right? You got all these different forms that we can use in Dreamweaver. So we're going to produce something really, really simple just so that you can get an idea of what to do. So you see we have a split screen right now, right? We have code here and we have our uh, designer view here. So I'm just going to go into pure designer view because, uh, you know, I'm lazy. So what we're going to do, we're going to add some form buttons. So you see if we mouse over, you got text fields and hidden input. That's for like passwords, hidden input. So I'll show you the difference between between these two very soon. Text areas, we've got all kinds of uh, different form elements here. So what I want to do now is, uh, well, the spry stuff here, this is, this is a little bit more advanced. So we won't cover this here. So uh, let's jump into creating some simple, simple text fields. So I'm going to go text field one. And this little box pops open. So the ID that's used on the scripting side, the programming side, like pH on the PHP side, for example, the cold fusion side. So we're just going to give it an idea when I say name, you know, and we'll get into what that's used for later. Label, we can leave that Well, We can put that name too. So wrap with label tag, that adds a label tag. This has to do with usability and stuff. Again, this is a quick video. I'm not going to get into all the details here, but we're just going to go, okay. Now all this stuff, access key, this has to do with usability and goes beyond the scope of this basic video. But we're just going to leave it. You know, I'm just going to get rid of name as well. And we get no label tag, right? If we put in label, name. Yeah, we could leave it in, but I'm just going to have no label tag for now. So ID name, so we just go, okay. Okay, so we're going to have this add form tag. Now, this form tag is the one way up here. Now, I did add it on purpose because I want to see that. So basically, you need to add a form tag when you're creating a form. I'm going to show you why now. So I'm going to say, okay, yes, add the form tag. So you see this red line? That's the form tag. So you put your mouse cursor in here, click, and hit enter. And we're going to add another, you know, add a checkbox. There we go, add checkbox. I'm going to go ID. We're going to go uh, sex and uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Go OK. So we have a checkbox and we hit enter again and uh, we're going to add a list menu here. What's that a list menu? We're going to say uh, fish. Alrighty, so fish. I go OK. Now we want to expand those list values. Now, the list box is one of those drop-down boxes. So let's jump into that right now. So your list values. We add an item. We're going to go uh, red snapper. So that's what is displayed. You'll see in a second what I mean by that. We go red dash snapper. Now, if you're confused at this point, just, you know, bite your lip. Hold on for a second. I'm going to explain all this stuff to you in uh, about two shakes. So you hit enter. So that's been added. So let's add another item, another item. So we're going to say red snapper. We're going to say trout. And we're going to say uh, trout. Okay, that's enough. So we're going to go K. Okay. So you see also in red snapper trout. Uh, let's take a look at the code. Now, this, when we save this, control save. 
when you're doing HTML, and even if you're using a program like Dreamweaver, you have to still understand the code because there's times when you just have to get into the code. So hold on to your hats if you're a designer. We're going to actually look at some code now. So we're now looking at code view, and we're looking at the code that Dreamweaver created for us. So this is our drop-down box. It's actually called a select box. And you notice the uh, name fish and ID fish and so on. And you notice the options, right? Red snapper, trout, etc. So uh, let me scroll down here. So we see it here. Now with Dreamweaver, when you have the split view here, I'm just going to double click on this to give us a little bit more screen real estate. If you click on an item in your design view down here, you see Dreamweaver highlights it in the code view. And I'll click on this. Excuse me, let me just click on that box. You see a box, input type text. Now you see this red dot. This is not red dot, this red dotted line. This is the form tag. See form right here. Now, if you don't know tags, and you don't understand this, you have to go to the, um, you should go to the main course and I get into all that there. So when Dreamweaver asked us, if you recall before, do you want us to insert, insert the form tag? So we go, yeah, 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 you do that. So what that is, it inserted this. This is the opening of the form tag. And this is the closing. Now, what this thing does, and this is represented by this dotted red line here. This tells the web browser, because when this loads in the web browser, right, it reads all this. This tells the web browser that this is all one form, all these different boxes here, right? And so it treats it as one form. And again, this has to be talked about in another video, but essentially you'll learn that you can have multiple forms in a web page. So you need to have these form tags and these form wrappers like this so that Dreamweaver in the web browser, excuse me, the web browser understands how to handle all this stuff. So let's go back into pure design view. I'm going to hit enter again. And I'm just going to put in a submit button. Button like this. I'm going to go button ID. I'm just going to type submit. And I'll say label. This is label is basically what is displayed on the button. Submit. And no, it's actually, excuse me, label is this thing here. So let's get rid of that. My apologies. So let's uh, save that preview. So ignore this. This is just a security warning. So nothing happens because we have to tell the form what to do now. Okay, so we've seen that the button works. This is just the very basics. There's a lot more to learn about forms, and uh, we're getting close to 10 minutes here, so we're going to have to continue this in part two and in part three of our course.